Today I'm doing the 50 plus beauty YouTuber tag and sharing so much more about myself than anyone would ever want to know. However, that's coming up next. Welcome back, I'm Kimberly. This is Pretty Over 50, where we talk everything makeup, skincare, and style for the over 50 woman. Today I'm doing the 50 plus beauty YouTuber tag, and <laughs> I'll be sharing so much more about myself than anyone would ever want to know, so I apologize for that in advance. I'll be getting into the questions in just a minute, but I thought I would take just a few minutes at the start of this video to kind of wrap up 2019 and talk about where my channel will be going in 2020. I'm filming this on New Year's Day. I want to say Happy New Year to you, and I hope you had a wonderful holiday season with family and friends. I want to thank you, first of all, for being such a wonderful part of my life. I started YouTube halfway through 2019, and I've already grown to almost 750 subscribers, I think a little bit more, and I just can't believe how many people have stopped by to say hi. And I just want to tell you how appreciative I am and grateful I am for you. This has been quite a fun journey for me and I plan to continue in 2020 and wanted to let you know kind of the direction that my channel will be going. We've been focusing mostly on makeup for the 50 plus women. That will continue in 2020. I will be adding a lot more emphasis on skincare because I know for me that's been one of the most valuable changes I've made in my personal routine has made a wonderful difference in my skin and it will continue on and I want to share what I've learned and things that I'll be picking up along the way. In addition to makeup and skincare, I'll be adding a lot of fashion and lifestyle for the 50 plus woman. I really want to focus on tips and tricks and ideas and suggestions that will help make your life more fun, easier, and more filled with joy. So I hope you'll join me in 2020. If you're new here, welcome. I hope you'll consider subscribing and make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And if you are interested in makeup, skincare, and style for the over 50 woman, make sure you stop by prettyover50.com where there's a lot more great information just waiting for you there. With that, let's get into the 50 plus YouTuber tag questions. And again, I apologize in advance. If you're still here, I'm surprised. So let's dive in. I was tagged on this by my good friend Robin at Robin's Beauty Over 50, and I'll link her channel down below. She's a wonderful gal, does a great job with makeup, and she's just a lovely soul. So you'll definitely want to go by and check her out. So I've got the questions right here on my phone, and I'll try to be able to read them for you, and we'll jump right in. The first one is, where did you grow up? in the States or abroad. I actually grew up in Northern California and surprisingly, I graduated from high school with the kids I was in kindergarten with. So I lived in the same house and had the same group of friends and neighbors and that sort of thing all growing up. Sacramento is in Northern California and in the foothills of Northern California, about two hours from Lake Tahoe and about an hour and a half from San Francisco. I graduated from high school in 1974. I had just turned 17 a month earlier. I kind of sped through high school. I don't think it was really my cup of tea, so I wanted to skedaddle out of there quickly. I don't have a high school picture. It says to share a picture if you have one. I don't have one. I'd have to dig through boxes to get one. So I looked a whole lot like this, only much, much younger. The next question is, what was the makeup trend when you graduated? Hippie. <laughs> I was kind of in that whole hippie movement. I wore tie-dyed shirts and long hair parted down the middle, and I wasn't really that much into makeup in high school. I was more into painting and drawing and creative pursuits and kind of being a hippie, so I don't know that I even wore that much makeup. Maybe some lipstick and mascara, but that was about it. Okay, the next question is, what was the hair trend the year you graduated? It was that parted down the middle straight hair thing. You guys remember it, and that was the cool thing. And remember the rat tail comb in your back pocket? I had one of those too. Those were the days, right? The next question is, what was your first car? And my first car was a Pinto, a brown Pinto. Gosh, I thought I was so cool in that car. And it was a stick shift, you know, so I kind of felt like I was really driving. Heaven knows, those cars, I don't even know if they were very safe, but I had a lot of fun in that car and a lot of fun memories. There's also a question about what was the song at your prom, and I don't know, I don't remember. I actually graduated mid-year my senior year, so I didn't really go to prom. I was off into college by then, so I don't even remember what the song was. I can tell you that my music taste in high school was like Simon and Garfunkel and James Taylor, 
and that sort of thing. I wasn't into rock so much. I was just more into folk and country music. The next question is, what was a typical Saturday night when you were a senior in high school? And this, this is such a funny story. I was an art major and I started drawing and painting when I was really quite young. And I would stay home from parties to work on a painting that I was working on. That's how obsessed with painting I was. So I'd have, I had this one really close girlfriend, Darla, in high school, and she'd call me up and say, there's a big party Saturday night, and I'd say, you know, I'm not gonna go because I'm working on this painting, and I'm really into it. So I don't think I was a whole lot of fun in high school as far as the parties went. The next one is, how did you wear your makeup as a teen? And like I said earlier, I think I just wore mascara and maybe some Bonnie Bell lip gloss or lipstick or whatever. I don't really recall wearing a lot of makeup when I was in high school. I don't even think it was that big of a thing in Northern California. So, oh, you know what? I, I do remember blue eyeshadow, but I don't think I ever wore it. And remember the really white lipstick? I think some other girls in high school wore that, but I didn't so much. That wasn't a good look on me. So as far as my high school makeup, I think mascara and that was about it. The next question is, were you always into hair, makeup, beauty, and style? And I think that I was always interested in looking nice. I can't say that I was specifically interested in certain brands or certain labels or certain companies or certain products. I was just more interested in looking nice. I think that I probably failed at it a lot because I didn't focus on it so much. I was always really focused on creating and building a business and creating new products and that sort of thing. So I'm not sure that actual learning about makeup really didn't happen until I was older. And now that I'm older, it's more fun. It doesn't necessarily define me as a woman or make me feel better about myself. I just enjoy it because it's fun and that's why I'm doing this channel. It's just fun. The next question is, was there a specific reason that you started your channel? And the answer is yes. <laughs> I won't share the backstory of the specific reason quite yet. I will at some point when it's more appropriate, but I really started the channel to have fun. I just wanted to do something lighthearted and not deep, just fun and kind of frivolous and girly. And so I decided to start a YouTube makeup channel and it's been such a blessing and I really am having so much fun. So that's a good question. The next one is how do others react when you tell them you have a YouTube channel? <laughs> And the funny thing is, is that I don't tell anybody. There's maybe one gal in my community that knows that I have a YouTube channel. Other than that, I haven't told anyone. I've connected with other women on YouTube, which I wanted to do, and that's been a great thing. But I just don't tell anyone. It's just kind of my little fun thing to do, and I've really had a good time. The next question is, what is your favorite thing to talk about or demonstrate makeup, skincare, and why? I think my favorite thing to do is to share what I think are good ideas that make life more fun or easier or just simplify life. That's what I enjoy doing. I like sharing great tips and great finds. You know, when I was younger, when I say younger, I mean when my kids were at home, I was so busy. I had always owned at least one business and I was very, very busy and I labeled myself a lazy shopper. And what I meant by that is that I didn't have time to go out and shop for lipstick or shop for um, a hairdresser or shop for this. I was busy. I had a business. I had a home. I had kids. I had this and that. So if I saw someone that was wearing lipstick that I loved, I'd ask them what lipstick that was and I'd go out and get it. So that's what I mean by lazy shopper. I would take advantage of the things that other people had found that were good and would use that. So that's kind of the focus of my channel is I'm hoping that I can spend my time, because I have it now and I enjoy it, finding good things that you guys find useful. So kind of look at me as that person that you can come to when you want the good blush or you want the good skincare or you want the good <laughs> hair care products because I'm spending the time to research it now. So I guess that's what I love doing is sharing good ideas, good products, and good processes for making life a lot easier and a lot more fun. The next one is, what is your favorite thing about being a 50 plus beauty YouTuber? I think my favorite thing about it is how democratic it is. And what I mean by that is, gosh knows, there are so many women on YouTube that are so young and so beautiful and just do such incredible makeup because their skin is fabulous. 
Well, I'm not young and my skin isn't fabulous, but even with that, I'm able to come onto YouTube, share what I've learned, share what I'm doing, share my story, and there are people who are interested in listening and watching. And I find that pleasant because that means that there's other people like me that are connecting with my journey, and I appreciate that. So I think it's just the ability that we each have something to give and have a story to tell or things to share, and there are people out there that are interested, and I appreciate that part. The next one is, what is the most challenging thing about being a 50 plus YouTuber? And you know, I'm gonna answer this and it's gonna feel, it feels a little uncomfortable because it's a little bit vulnerable and it goes back to the fact that I'm not a young woman and my skin is imperfect. I'm 63 years old, goodness knows. <laughs> the last thing that I think people would wanna do is get on and look at my face. And I do have challenges sometimes where I think, gosh, I'm too old to do this, or, you know, my skin doesn't look that great, or this and that. And I really try to talk with myself about that. That's just buying into that whole culture that you have to look a certain way to be valuable, or have validity, or have people listen to you. And I fight that as much as anyone else. And I just catch myself when, when I do that and realize that this is exactly what 63 looks like. This is life and I've lived it and I'm now concentrating on skincare and makeup and having a good time doing it. So staying focused on that has been a real growth experience for me and I think it's really made me a better person and made me really think about who we are as women and where our place is in this society. So that's been a challenging thing but I think that challenge in turn has created greater growth in me than if I hadn't had it. The next question, you guys are gonna laugh and I want you to answer it in the comments down below. You've gotta answer this question. It says, what advice would you give your 30 year old self about skincare and makeup? <laughs> I know exactly what I'd say. Wear sunscreen, wear sunscreen. <laughs> That's all I'd say is wear sunscreen. So comment down below what you would say to yourself. The last one is a good question. It is, what is your favorite 50 plus beauty tip to share? I love that question and my answer is pamper yourself, love yourself, spend some time on you. I know in my life and my girlfriend's lives and the other women I meet, we have spent so much time nurturing, helping, assisting, growing other people whether it's our children or our grandchildren or our spouses or family members, and it can really happen that we don't spend enough time on ourselves. And I think that this is the time in our lives that we really can take a few minutes to love ourselves, to nurture ourselves, to pamper ourselves, and to do things that are really going to feel good to us. And I certainly am trying to do that in my own world, and I hope that you're trying to do it in yours as well. Thank you guys so much for listening to my answers to all these questions. It was kind of challenging. I really love being on YouTube. I love talking about skincare and makeup and fashion and things for over 50 women. I don't like talking about myself so much. So I appreciate you sticking around if you're still here. Make sure you comment down below what you would tell your 30 year old self. I'd love to hear that and it would be a great thing to share with other people. Thank you so much for stopping by and listening to all my answers. If you're new here, make sure you smash that subscribe button and click that notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. For more on makeup, skincare, and style for the over 50 woman, stop by prettyover50.com where there's a lot more great information just waiting for you there. It just tickles me when you take a few minutes out of your day to spend it with me and I appreciate you stopping by and I appreciate you. Make it a great day, have a wonderful week and I'll See you in the next video. Bye now.